What's up guys, I got another 1x player video for you. Today we're going to be checking out Crystal Dismark because what I wanted to do is since we have an AMD device and we have a uh, Intel device, I think you guys remember the dry, the uh, the speed test that I did, the speed test video I did on the uh, 1165G7 a long time ago, but I'm going to refresh your memory. We're going to do everything over again and we're going to compare apples to apples. Now remember we don't have Thunderbolt on the AMD version. So maybe because of that, maybe they unlocked the speeds for the ports. So that would be nice to know, you know, versus the uh, the um, Intel, which they had Thunderbolt ports, which is nice because Thunderbolt ports had really fast, high speed. You know, we got 40 gigabytes per second. But then they, you know, they were slacking on the uh, on the USB port and the SD card was really freaking slow. So we're going to see if there's a difference here. I have an SD card in here. I'll find an SD card for this or I'll just put move it or whatever and then we're going to do a speed test between them and I'm going to pause it in between so we can see the results and that I'm not wasting your time letting us sit here and look at numbers go up and down. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Let's start with the SD card since that's the easiest. We're going to scan that, see what speed test we're going to get and then I'm going to show you guys the Intel version and we're going to see if there's a difference or if it's the same. So this will be an interesting experiment. Okay, so let me make sure I got an SD card in there. I do not. It's in there. Okay, so since this is AMD is a new device, we're going to start with AMD first. Okay. There is something I noticed too about the AMD version that I meant to mention in my last video and I didn't get a chance to. The battery seems pretty well optimized versus the Intel version. Like it lasts a little bit longer. Again, I don't know. There's major differences between the two. There's, you know, one is AMD and also one is Windows 11 and one is Windows 10. I don't know if Windows 11 is more battery optimized than Windows 10. But I do notice like basic standby mode or if you're doing ROMs or emulators and low TDP, it seems like the AMD version uh, lasts longer. Um, oh, great. I dropped it. All right. So let's see. Let's, let's see what the... Uh, SD card speed is the micro SD card. That's that's E drive. Okay, let's go back. Crystal disk mark. Yes, yes. Ho ho ho. Okay. All good and gravy with bacon. Okay, so we're on the E drive. So I'm gonna start the test, and uh, we'll pause it and we'll see what the results are, and then we're gonna switch over to the Intel version and see that. All right, let's pause this now. Okay, guys, this is the result of the AMD version. Now, what I was going to do is put another SD card in 1165 and then do them both together, but it wouldn't really be comparing apples to apples because I don't have the same brand or the same size SD card. So I will have to actually take this out yeah, and put it in the other one, see if the things do So I don't remember. I will have to look back at my video to see um, what the speed was. And I don't know if I was using the same SD card either, but we're at 39 megabytes per second read and 30 megabytes per second write. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be a little bit faster. So let's, uh, first of all, I want to show you guys which card I'm using. This way we know. This is what I was using in my uh, Intel version. I'm sorry, my 1165 G7 1X player. Um, one terabyte full of all kinds of ROMs and stuff. A1 SanDisk Ultra XC1 Micro. So we're going to try that in this Intel one just to remember what results we got and do a speed test on that. And if it's the same, then I guess I won't be very surprised. But let me pause it and we're going to find out. All right, guys, as you can see so far, there is strangely a difference. So we got the AMD with the 39 megabytes per second and the 30 is the right speed, all right? And then we got the Intel, that's 29 and 26, using the same exact card. So what does that tell me? That tells me that there is a difference in the ports because it's the same exact port. So, but keep in mind that one the windows 11 one one is windows 11 pro which is the amd and one is a windows 10 home which is uh the intel one and one you know and so i don't know if that makes any difference but that should be worth noting 
So this is not exact apples to apples. We're not in the same OS. But another thing I did notice, and you guys have mentioned it in the Discord, and I'm only noticing now because I have them side by side, is that the Intel does emit kind of a bluish hue over everything. And I didn't notice that until I'm looking at them both, the same exact picture side by side. Now, you're probably not going to be able to tell this from my camera, but the AMD looks like it has a better true color, I guess you can say, whereas the Intel has like a blue hue over the character's face. It's very obvious. So everything has a slightly blue hue when you're looking at them both together. Also know that the AMD seems a little sharper as well but that could be something to do with uh the amd settings maybe i don't know a little strange worth noting just wanted to show you guys so here's a side by side picture you can you can freeze it in terms of uh the, for the for the speed that's the sd card speed i don't know what this speed's supposed to be but uh i would say it's still capped but because i feel like it should be a little bit faster but i could be completely wrong but same exact SD card in the SD slot, and we got much higher speed over 10 FPS. I'm sorry, 10 uh, megabytes per second difference on the read speed and on the write speed more than four. What does that mean? I don't know. You guys tell me. So we're going to check out the USB 3.1 stick I have, and we're going to do the speed test on that for each one as well. So let me pause that while I get that, and we'll check it out. All right, guys, so I couldn't find my little USB 3.1 little dongle that I had, and it would probably require me looking around the entire room, which is a nightmare, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it out on this old Western Digital Elements 3.0 USB cord. It's the one I've had for a little while, loaded up with a whole bunch of crap. I think emulators, ROMs, and games and such. And uh, we're going to try this on both devices and do a speed test. Um, I don't know what it's supposed to read as, but we can look that up later. And I'll write it in the description. So, let's start with uh, on the AMD version. And uh, I'll get back to you guys after I do a speed test on both, so you guys don't have to waste any time in between. So let me pause it right now. Okay, we've done the speed test with the Western Digital My Passport uh, four terabyte drive, and it looks relatively the same, pretty much, um, for the 3.0 speed. So, um, again, I don't know what the 3.0 speed is supposed to be graded as. Uh, so, but looking at them both, they look pretty even. So. Doesn't look like there was any corners cut on the 3.0 port. Um, or if there was corners cut on the 3.0 port, they're the same corners that were cut because they're tight, ex ex you know, exactly the same speed almost. All right. So now we're going to obviously test the USB C ports on the top. Um, we know we're going to probably only have a USB C regular here and then Thunderbolt there. So essentially, it should be faster on the Intel. But for the sake of argument, let's uh, give it a test real quick and uh, see how that goes. Um, now, I do have a 3.0 drive. The one we're going to be using is the <clears throat> Samsung Portable T5. It has SSD in it. And this is what I have mounted to the, well, sometimes, not all the time, mounted to this. And uh, I want to see if we can play games on it on the AMD. This way I can switch back and forth. Is it fast enough? the port fast enough to run games without having any issues with the t5 um we don't know but that'll save me from having to install a thousand games on there and uh yeah let's check that out and uh, see how that goes so we're gonna close this out boom open it back up after we install the new one plug in a new drive i don't think the ports are gonna matter because they're both the same port but so let's just try the one that's not a charging port and see how that goes. Okay, we got the T5 is on the E drive, and we're going to try that out first. And then we're going to switch over here, and I'm going to show the picture of both. And we're going to figure out what the difference is and if it's still playable from the Type-C port. All right, let's see. All right, after doing both speed tests between both the 
AMD version and the Intel version. Uh, the differences are pretty obvious. We have around the same kind of read speed, okay, for the T5. And then the write speed just skyrockets past the AMD version. This whole side is just complete dominance. So transferring things, I mean, write speed is, is yeah, is much, much faster. What does this mean? I think we should be able to play things fine with 151 um, megabyte per second, megabit per second uh, speed uh, for write speed. That's just transferring. The read speed is still good. So as long as you use your old 1X player to transfer the files or the games or download directly to the uh, SSD and then just put it, plug it into the uh, new X, 1X player and uh, run your Steam games from there, the read speed is just fine. The read speed is uh, almost perfect. Let's bring this a little closer. Let me unplug this SSD. Now, what I did notice that is that the uh, the fan speed, the loudness of the fan speed, boosted really loud on the Intel version during the test, whereas it stayed the same with the AMD version. So there, that's something. But the fact that they both have the same read speed just tells me that. Um, these ports up here is probably a USB 3.2 ports, which are, I believe, 20 gigabytes per second, uh, versus the Thunderbolt ports, which is uh, 40 gigabytes per second. And uh, But that shouldn't alter the, the write speed. It should be around the same. So I don't really know what to deduce from this. So again, the AMD version has a lower write speed but around the same read speed as the Thunderbolt on the uh, Intel version, okay? But other than that, pretty much identical using the T5 SSD, which means you should be able to play games on both devices and not have any hiccups if you're using the Thunderbolt port, okay? Or, and if you're using the T5, you know, which I like to use, you could just mount it and... Uh, on the back or something with velcro and it'll work pretty well so what i can use is the same t5 for both because i got two different steam um, packages on each one so and the uh, saves for those are either in the cloud or in my documents folder it doesn't actually go to the device i mean to the um the games folder so that's something to think about if you're going to have two different devices like this but there is a difference um and uh, there you have it guys so i just wanted to do those tests for you my battery is about to die on my phone i got some more videos i'm going to do for you some call of duty and stuff and i'm going to be collaborating with a couple of other youtubers project sbc and uh mva and we're going to be doing some call of duty gameplay uh hopefully by sometime this weekend and uh yeah so a little exciting I just got to set that up with the AMD. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Is there anything specific that you wanted me to test between the two of them, like um, any particular game or you know some kind of benchmark? Let me know um, because otherwise I'm just going to go back to emulations and, uh, and testing out the games that I know work with AMD that don't work with Intel. And all the stuff I was already doing. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.